first of all, let's make sure that I can fucking actually get out of here. Okay, yeet. Welcome to this vlog. No, actually, we're gonna wait a second so I don't die, because that is a possibility here at this intersection. Now we're freaking good to go. If you couldn't tell by the title of this video, I am finally moving and you're coming along with me. If you can see all the goodies here in my back of my car. Why is there a bug on my fucking window? Offended by that. Today is the day that I am finally moving all of my stuff from Corvallis back home to live with my parents. If you can't tell, I'm super stoked about it. I don't know. I don't know what to explain about my emotions right now because I am really a little bit uncertain. It's not really a new feeling to me, if we're being honest here. Uncertainty is something that I'm quite familiar with, actually. I have to wait because I shouldn't run over pedestrians. Okay, so anyway, here is the reasoning that I am moving home and why it is important and why I have to go through with it even though I really don't want to right now. So. I am broke. I had money saved up for forever since I started college. I've just started saving up money and slowly but surely this summer I have been wasting it away because I just could not find a job and I was also just like really stubborn and I didn't want to go back to my old job or anything and I didn't want to like work anything similar to it. So that's what kind of has me in this situation here now. I don't know, maybe it just wasn't in the cards. Maybe Corvallis is just not the place for me. I mean, not only am I going to be saving a lot of money living back at home, but I'll also be closer to a lot of friends. Um, I'll be closer to my best friend. On the downside of leaving Corvallis is that I am going to be losing a lot of freedom. I'm not really losing a lot of freedom, but it's just gonna feel like I'm not going to have as much freedom now that I'm going to be living with my parents. I don't know, like you, you can't just like stay up and do whatever you want. You can't just like have friends over whenever you want. It's not the same. I know, boo hoo. Oh, you can't have all your friends over whenever you want. Yes, that does suck. I'll get over that. Oh! In the past few weeks that I have lived here, that I've been, still been living here in Corvallis, I have come to know a really nice guy. Aww. It sucks having to kind of leave that behind because it's just like, I don't know y'all, I've been searching my whole motherfucker, And so now it really sucks that I found somebody who's just like super cool and I enjoy hanging out with a lot and I have to like move away from. I am just at this point in my life where I have sacrificed a lot for other people's well-being and other people's happiness. I know what I want in life and I am not gonna just like give it up. You know, I'm not gonna give up my opportunity at being like happy and whatever, you know? It's just hard because, I don't know, you wish that everything was just easy and straightforward and you wish that everything made sense and that you had all of the answers to everything. But the reality is, is that nobody has the answers and that's honestly kind of the tea about that. I also want to keep writing. I don't know, have I mentioned that before? I've actually been getting into writing. I've always been into writing, but I'm getting back into the swing of things. I'm actually trying to pursue kind of a career path in it, similar to the idea of like what I want to do with my YouTube videos, that I really want to be able to create a better, like a more open community that shares like stories and experiences so that other people can kind of feel like they're not alone. So, swipe up. That is absolutely worse. So yeah, I don't know. That's just kind of like a little bit of a life update right now. That's just kind of what's been going on a little bit. And just wanted to let you know that I have been having a few breakdowns this week. Yeah, that has been kind of hard actually. <laughs> Let's talk about thinking about leaving right now. A little bit sad, but that's okay. You know, we are gonna be okay. Oh my God. And moving takes a lot of time but also uh, a lot of emotional energy where I'm just like, I don't want to be here right now. I don't want to do this. I don't want to move. I don't want to leave my friends. I don't want to leave my loved ones. I don't want to leave the super cool guy that I met here. 
but alas. Anyway, I'm done talking about that. I have a giant pimple um, at the top of my forehead, so <laughs> that's great. Hi. Okay. Um, hi. It's a different day. I'm kind of sweating. It's a little warm here. My parents actually have a freaking heater, so it's actually warm here. So it's been a couple days since I was last vlogging. Here I am in my parents' house in a different room, and there's that man sitting back there watching me, guiding me. Yeah, I don't know. I felt like in the video that I was making in my car, I was just a little, I was just very emotional. And I couldn't process anything that was happening right then and there. Besides my sad feelings, I figured that we would add in a little bit more of a comedy. Well, maybe a different aspect to this video. Because I am so lazy, I did not decide to come up with anything really creative. What I'm doing is answering some questions that I found on the internet. Okay, so I have a whole list of questions. This is what I'm going to be answering for you. I'm gonna answer however many of these questions I want and whichever questions I want to answer. Let's just get right into this q and A. I I guess. Is this a QA? and a would this really be a Q&A? Nobody's asking me these questions. I'm just, I just found these questions. What will finally break the internet? Some stupid politician. What celebrity would you rate as a perfect 10 out of 10? Let's see here. That's a hard one. Ariana Grande. I mean, you know, she really is just the queen. And she has just gone through so much. And she is just, you know, so wonderful and so powerful. What is the best and worst purchases you've ever made? Best purchase? Anything related to clothes. No, anything related to food. That's always the best purchase. Worst purchase, um... My love. What's the worst commercial you've recently seen and why is it so bad? There was a commercial for some kid's toy that was like dog toy that like pooped pooped, like fake poop or whatever, and it was some kind of game and that was just honestly chilling. What is the craziest thing one of your teachers has done? Actually, story time. Most of my teachers and professors were always like pretty chill. However, that was not the case in my seventh grade math class. She was never really very nice. She was just insane and I really didn't appreciate it. This was before I had like my glasses or like I don't think I was really wearing my glasses or something I don't remember what it was but basically I was sitting at the front of the class and she was writing something on the whiteboard and I of course without my glasses I have to like squint my eyes so that I can see farther away and she must have taken notice in that and seen that I couldn't see whatever she was writing and so she took it upon herself to call me out in front of the entire class and ask me if I needed glasses in order to see what she was writing and I was like you know what probably you fucking bitch I probably do but you know what I don't have them okay so why don't you fucking reevaluate your teaching methods which common saying or phrase describes you Try harder. What's your hidden talent? This might not really be a talent. Uh, I feel like other people can do it too, but I feel like I'm pretty exceptional at being able to pick things up with my feet because I have weird looking toes. What you're about to see may be disturbing. Let me show you what I mean. Are you ready? I feel like that just appeal to a whole different audience than I have ever tried appealing to in my YouTube videos. Sorry, what was the most embarrassing moment in your life? Oh, I thought of it. <laughs> this is a story. So, back in high school, I was a runner. You know, I ran. I ran around with my little feet and we had morning practices. One morning, I was doing my thing, I all of a sudden get an urge. Uh, it was familiar. I needed to use the restroom real quick. The issue was I was on another side of town. I couldn't really get to like any porta potties or anything. Like I couldn't use anything quick and I wasn't like that close to my house. So what I had to do was just turn around, run as quickly as possible as I could, get to my house. And literally the entire time that I was trying to get there, it was the 
most painful battle of just like trying to keep everything inside you know and so then as i get closer and closer to my house i feel it more and more and i'm like holy crap it's gonna happen i finally get to my house i can feel it coming like she is ready to erupt basically the whole exchange between me having to get my key out and unlock the door in that span of like maybe five seconds my body gave up i was wearing running tights it was all over them it was absolutely disgusting i was just mortified <laughs> i was like at any moment somebody is going to come out and see me standing there just absolutely covered in all of that i literally got into my house i ran into the bathroom took everything off and just cleaned myself nothing can top that anyway <laughs> Thanks for watching. I appreciate you being here. Thank you for watching again. And I will see you in the next video. Um, yeah. Bye.